What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Seth the Line Surgeon. And sorry on the delay for this video, but this is the long-awaited uh, treatment video I told y'all about. Um, it's about, today's the 19th, September 19th. I usually start doing my treatments in October. But like I said, I want to get y'all this video so y'all can get the materials y'all need. And one thing. If you're going to be uh, treating other people's yards, make sure you are a certified fertilizer applicator. Check out your state's uh, regulations on that and uh, get certified. Um, also, the actual name brand of the products are not what's important. What's important is, or more important is how you ap apply it. So. Keep that in mind. Let's go. All right, starting off the lineup. All right, the type of seed I use is Pennington Kentucky 31 Tall Fescue. They changed the look of the bag. It used to be all yellow, but um, now it's green and yellow. So this is what it looks like now. Um, yeah, I use fescue in my yard. Ideally, if I got a new yard, I'll probably use St. Augustine. It's durable. It's a lazy man's grass. But since I already had fescue in my yard when I moved in, I just continued to use it. All right, now next on the lineup. Oh, yeah, by the way, I get this from Lowe's. Um, uh, I think it's like, I think it's like 50 bucks or something like that. Yeah. All right, next on the lineup is good old limestone use me some pelletized limestone pelletized limestone I get it from southern states um, I get most of my stuff from southern states except my seed but yeah and I get this from southern states also this is a bug treatment now like I said what's important is not the name brand is just how you apply it you can get whatever type of seeds you want you can get whatever type of lime you want, pelletized lime you want. You can get whatever type of bug treatment you want. Now, you know where I got the seed, but why do I have the lime? The lime is basically, you want to treat the soil. And in order for you to have good grass, you need to have good soil. And so that's what people fail to realize. People get seed and they just throw it down and they think, oh, you know, it doesn't matter what type of soil you got, you put seed down, it's going to grow. Not true. You have to make sure you have good good soil and especially like in my yard I'm show you in a second I have lots of trees so those trees suck up most of the nutrients in the yard so I'm gonna put down probably huh, two maybe three 40 pound bags of, of um, lime and one thing y'all gonna notice about me because I'm gonna make a second video uh, of me applying these materials but one thing y'all gonna notice about me, I'm not no Bill Nye, the science guy, dude. I don't measure, I don't uh, uh, take soil samples, which I need to since I'm certified, but anyway, but y'all see that. And the reason I put down the bug treatment is because the bug treatment, Last year, for some reason, I had a couple of yards that uh, they ended up with grubs after the winter time. We had a real bad winter, and it uh, we ended up with like grubs and insects that's killing some bare spots in the in the soil. So I said, instead of just doing my bug treatment in the springtime, I'm gonna also do it in the winter time. All right. This is my yard. Kind of let it go. But it's kind of good. So y'all can see the kind of turnaround you can have. You know, even if your yard looks like this. I kind of got busy. Stopped watering it at the end of the year after we had that drought. And I was just like, forget it. And as y'all can see, uh, leaves falling already. So I'm going to have to get all this up. But that's going to be on part two. 
So I, like I said, when I go to apply it in my yard, I probably try to do it I'll probably do it in October so stay tuned for that part two of winterizing with Seth. Yes sir.